area we're blessed because we've got the biotech you know we've got the high tech and, and so and that's really helping us and what we've got to do is to be very very careful as to who you send up to sacramento and by the time another uh two years three years definitely by four years things are going to be a lot better and then that's when we're going to really need some good hearted individual who understand why they're there about our children and, 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 and those individuals who are in need of help, that the new revenues that start coming, that we're going to start putting it in to uh, the kinds of programs that you and I care about, education, health care, social services, and so on. Because if not, then what's going to happen is that people are going to then say, well, why don't we give more tax credit to the business people? Why don't we go and uh, uh, do a lot more in terms of maybe infrastructures and so on, and 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 and, and not really taking care of our children and other. Okay. Yes, sir. sir, I'd also like to praise you. You're one of the hardest working politicians I have ever met. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, Yay! Thank you. The, you the reason I say that business. is that I've been privileged to be in a couple of parades with you when our segways were running along the parade route. And I will tell you that every convertible is full uh, or is filled with the politician, right? This is politician XYZ's convertible, and there he is, except for this guy. His convertible is empty, and he's marched every foot of every parade. All right. Talking to the public. Okay. I do have a question, though. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I got there. <laughs> If, uh, if Gavin Newsom is governor, will you be uh, mayor of San Francisco? <laughs> well, I thought it would be safe from that question, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to make friends with San Francisco. That's right. Oh, that's a setup, I see. Um, you know, and, and I want to thank all of you for your help and support. I am running for re-election, um, and um, uh, I, I think we'll do quite nicely. Uh, in 2011, uh, we are going to look at it very, very closely. Uh, that's all I can say. Good. Thank you. I just want to make one statement. Uh, you I heard this before. You know, there's a chicken in every pot, and prosperity is just around the corner. That's how old I am. <laughs> well, I have two issues that I'd like to raise. One is related to, uh, I think I heard you equate the restriction of funds for uh, Prop 98 to set-asides, restricting your flexibility in, in, in allocating revenues, you equated that with the state parks, the, the dollars that would go from, state, from car licenses, the increase that's up on this next, this next ballot. It seems to me those are different. Uh, one is not reallocating existing funds, uh, the, the state parks issue would take new funds. Right. It increases the uh, LPL. Yeah, and in order to support the state parks. So that's one issue. The other one is, have there, I, I know of two legislative attempts in the past to allow some counties to go to 100% vote by mail. Um, the retiring registrar that this county, Warren Slocum, put in writing someplace um, a year or so ago that this county would save $300,000 by going to, per, per one election, we have sometimes multiple elections per year, um, we'd save minimum $300,000. I think it's probably twice that. Uh, is there a legislative move, would you support a legislative move to allow counties to opt for 100% vote by mail? Okay, okay. Let me uh, uh, talk about the first issue. Um, the, the, you know, the first issue is what happens when you go ahead and take dollars. Uh, uh, th that, in fact, can be general fund dollars, and you then set aside for a particular purpose then what happens is that that money becomes, the, the, that money is off the table in terms of solving other areas that are in need. And I'm not to say that the parks don't need the money, but the question then is that it takes a degree of freedom from the legislators 
making that decision when we're comparing uh, the IHSS program versus the CalWORKs program versus education and on and on and on, along with the parks, then where should we spend the money? Would those car license fees That's right. be in the general fund? It's in the general fund. Yeah, it would be in the general fund. Just as the mental health service, and I, I'm a psychologist, and I support more money for mental health, <coughs> but that, that, that higher uh, income level uh, that we are taking money out of those individuals and putting into the mental service act. Had we not done that, that money that we would in fact raise out of that would go in the general fund. The VOLF would in fact go into the general fund. It, it, it is because, you know, and many, I think it's particular Senator Leno, because, you know, he's been passionate about that. He's been rather critical, rightly so, about the governor taking uh, or reducing the VLF, had he not reduced the VLF, there would in fact be about $10 billion, and that $10 billion would take care of our shortfall. That $10 billion was then taken away from the general fund. So that's